All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your AEW All Out review for September 3rd, 2023. Way too many matches on this show. Most of these matches were thrown together last minute, pretty much. Not a lot of build to any, most of these matches. And the show was way too long. It went like four hours, man. You could have cut like at least three or four of the matches out. It didn't really need to be on the card. Best match, I thought. The, the Most of the matches that I saw. I thought Darby Allen versus Luchasaurus was the best match. The worst match was uh, Statlander versus Ruby Soho. This was a terrible match. And I thought it kind of looked like a botch at the end there with Tony Storm when she interfered because the ref didn't see her. Or I don't know what was going on with that. But yeah. All right. Uh, let's get to it. First up, we got MJF and Adam Cole versus the Dark Order for the Ring of Honor tag titles. MJF hit the kangaroo kick, and then MJF and Adam Cole hit the double clothesline for the win. After the match, the trainers looked at uh, MJF. And then while Adam Cole and MJF are leaving, Samo Joe, his match is up next. So he comes out and he just like shoulder checks where he shoves MJF. Adam Cole's telling MJF, oh, don't go attack him, man. You're too good for that, whatever. That looks like what he's telling him. And then MJF goes to the ring. He attacks Joe. And security runs in. So this is pretty much all about the angle at the end here with Samoa Joe. The, sh- the build-up should th- to this match should be good. Both guys are great in the mic. And it looks like, I think, uh, probably gra- a grand slam. It'll be Samoa Joe versus MGF in the main event, it looks like. So hopefully they do a good build for this match. I can't wait for the promos. All right, next up we got Samoa Joe versus some guy named Shane Taylor. Who the hell is Shane Taylor? Some jobber, some old Joe will be in like five minutes. Didn't really care about that match. All right, next up, we got Darby Allen versus Luchasaurus for the TNT title. When everybody knows the real TNT champion is the father of the year, Christian Cage. Luchasaurus, uh, he, he took the steps out. He dropped Darby on the steps, and then he put Darby Allen under the steps and Luchasaurus like walked on the steps or whatever. This was brutal. And then uh, out of nowhere, they didn't they didn't show how it happened, but uh, Darby Allen was had a bloody face or whatever. And then Darby Allen hit a swanton to the outside on Luchasaurus, and Darby hit a crucifix bomb. Luchasaurus hit a German suplex. It looked like uh, Darby Allen landed on his neck. Look like he might have hurt his neck on that. Don't know. Probably find out more in a couple of days, maybe, if he hurt his neck that bad. Christian Cage wants Nick Wayne to throw in the towel. He's like showing him a towel outside. And then Darby Allen, he sees all this happening. And goes to attack uh, Christian Cage. And then uh, Darby Allen starts biting uh, Luchasaurus's finger. And then Darby Allen hit a sunset power bomb for a two count. Christian Cage hit Nick Wayne with a chair. And then Luchasaurus hit two tombstones for the win. Uh, after the match, Christian Cage he set the concerto. I can't remember was it on Darby Allen or Nick Wayne. I'm not too sure. And then now comes the most of the locker room to make the save for Darby Allen and Nick Wayne. And then after the match, uh, trainers check up on Darby Allen. So doing the same angle as they did with MJF after the uh, or the trainers checking on Darby Allen now. All right, next up we got Powerhouse Hobbs versus Miro. Hobbs hit a clothesline on Miro, and then he hit Miro with a belly to belly. And then both guys traded clubbing shots to each other. And then Hobbs hit a power slam for a two count. Miro applied the camel clutch. Powerhouse Hobbs, he powered out of it. I think he's the first guy to like break the actual the camel clutch hold by Miro. Then Hobbs hit a spine buster for a two count. And then Miro applied the camel clutch and this time got the win. 
And then after the match, they shake hands. Miro's about to leave and get out the ring. And so Hobbs attacks him. And then out of nowhere, Lana shows up. So Lana is all elite now. And then when she gets to the ring, Miro hits Hobbs with a chair. And then uh, it looks like they might leave together. But Miro, he just leaves by himself. So I guess they're going to have the couple fight for their storyline between Miro and Lana. So we'll just see what happens with that. And then, yeah, so we got next up Ruby Soho versus Chris Statlander for the TBS title. Statlander hit a power slam for a two count, and she hit a, or they both hit double cross bodies on each other in midair. Statlander hit a power slam from the second rope, then Statlander hit a blue thunder bomb for a near fall. Ruby Soho hit the side, uh, sister Abigail on uh, Statlander for a two count. And then this is where Tony Storm, she popped up under the ring. And the ref was distracted with Soraya. She was on the apron. And then Tony Storm, like, used a spray paint or something. And then this gave Statlander a chance to hit the tombstone for the win. So Statlander retains. This didn't really care about this match either. All right, next up, we got Daniel Bryan versus Ricky Starks in a strap match. Ricky, the Dragon Steamboat, was on commentary. Beginning of the match, Daniel Bryan gets busted open, and then Ricky Starks hit a leg drop. Bryan whipped uh, Ricky Starks with the strap like a bunch of times. And then Bryan started choking Ricky Starks out with the strap. And then uh, Ricky Starks is like upside down in the corner of the ring. And then Bill, Bill, Big Bill, he got up on the apron. He started attacking Brian. And then this, uh, this little pissed off Ricky's uh, Dragon Steamboat. So he attacks Big Bill. And then Brian, he dies on the top rope to the outside on both uh, Big Bill and Ricky Starks. And then Ricky Starks hit the spear for a two count. And then Brian hit double knees for a near fall. And then uh, Brian applied the cross face. And then he put the the strap around Ricky Starks' neck and he just yanked on it on during the cross space. And this is where Ricky Stark eventually passed out. So Daniel Bryan wins this match. Not too sure if they're going to continue this feud or both guys are going to go into different feuds for themselves. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, not too much build because Bryan just came back last night on collision and then they just signed a contract. That was pretty much it. All right, next up, we got uh, another match I just didn't care for. Eddie Kingston and some jobber, Shibata or something. Don't know who that is. They face Cesaro and Yuta, Wheeler Yuta. And Cesaro and Yuta win. Next up, we got uh, Kenny Omega versus Takeshita. Kenny landed on his neck early in the match. Looked like he, I thought he might have broken his neck on that. Because he was a little bit shaken up after that move. And then uh, Kenny hit a moonsault off the barricade. Takeshita planted Omega face first into the turnbuckle. And then fast forward to the end of the match. Don Callis tried to use a screwdriver uh, on Kenny Omega while the ref was uh, occupied with Takeshita. And then, yeah, so he, uh, Don Callis missed uh, Kenny Omega using the screwdriver. And then Kesha took advantage and he wins at the end of the match. I missed uh, so the second half of the match doing notes because I was, uh, was eating dinner or whatever during this match. And then the eight-man tag. Eight-man tag match. Uh, yeah, so Kesha won. And then it was eight man tag FTR and Young Bucks against uh, Bullet Club Gold, the Guns, Juice Robinson and Jay White. Juice Robinson, and the Bullet Club Gold guys won. And then, so it was, uh, I forgot who was mad at who. I think Cash Wheeler was mad at one of the Young Bucks. So it, was, it looks like they're going to continue their feud, FTR and Young Bucks. Unless maybe one of them turns heel, either the Young Bucks or uh, FTR. 
It could be built into a heel turn from either team. But yeah, looks like the feud's going to continue. All right, next up, we got the main event. John Moxley versus Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy hit a suicide dive. And then uh, Orange Cassidy, he got busted open. Don't know, not too sure how that happened. Moxley hit a pile driver for a two count. And Moxley, he started mocking Orange Cassidy by putting his, Moxley put his hands in his pockets. And Orange Cassidy, he scratched Mo, Mox's back where he, he like dug his nails into his back and he scratched it. That's Mox, that's pretty much uh, what the John Moxley does in his matches. And then he, uh, Cassidy pulled another uh, John Moxley the time he bit his forehead. A lot of biting in this, a lot of, some of these matches tonight. You guys got to get rabies shots, man. They get infected and stuff. Uh, and Cassidy hit the orange punch for a near fall. Moxie applied the bulldog choke. Orange Cassidy got to the ropes. And then Orange Ca- uh, Moxie like, ripped the, uh, the padding on the outside of the ring. I think he was trying to set up for like a, po- a power bomb on Cassidy or a pod driver. Orange Cassidy, he countered it with the beach break onto the onto the concrete. Back in the ring, Orange Cassidy hit two orange punches. He went for a third one, but John Moxley countered with the RKO. Orange Cassidy hit a spear for a near fall, and then Moxley hit a paradigm shift for a two count. And then he Moxley hit another paradigm shift for the win. So your new international champion is John Moxley. What was it? 31 or 32 def- title defenses in a row for Cassidy. That streak's over. Don't see the the reason or any need for John Moxley to hold this title. It just could have had Cassidy just kept winning, I guess. Because Moxley doesn't really need the title, the international title. But I guess they're going to go with him. So we'll see if Orange Cassidy invokes his rematch clause or... John Moxley feuds with somebody else, and Cassidy feuds with somebody else before Cassidy eventually gets his rematch for the title. So we'll see what happens with that. For the uh, CM Punk stuff, he got released yesterday. I'll probably do that video either tomorrow or Tuesday, most likely. It's real busy with work. So, yeah, so stay tuned for that video either Tomorrow on Monday or Tuesday. I'm just it's gotta make time to make that video. Yeah, so that was it for all out. Uh probably give this about a five out of ten. Very lackluster build of this show. Wasn't really invested in too much of the matches. So yeah, that was pretty much it for all out. See ya.